Hey guys, so I got another cool application to show you today. This is called Swipe. And no, I'm not talking about the keyboard. This is actually an alternative way to switch between your recent tasks. So you'll notice right here, we've actually got the uh, notification up there in my status bar, obviously, to prevent this from being killed by Android's app killer uh, in the background there. But if I can show you really briefly here, whoop, whoop, whoop able to access all my recent tasks. I can go back to any recent task I want and if I use two fingers and swipe to the right, right back to the home screen. Pretty damn cool way of accessing your recent tasks over all the other ones that are in the Play Store, in my opinion, where you swipe from the right or the left hand side, a little pane kind of pops out, then you can choose your application. That's boring, it's been done a thousand times. This is cool, unique, and new. Now, from what I understand, the developer actually took this idea from iOS, so don't freak out. And no, I'm not trying to make you turn your Android into an iPhone. I'm just saying some of the features are kind of cool, and to add them to Android for additional customization is a great option. So let's go ahead and jump into the actual, actually, we can probably access is it from the notification tray here? <laughs> um, so here we are, right from the settings menu here. So you can uh, start at boot. You can uh, have the option to show the panes, and you may be able to notice the um, sort of lightly colored red panes on the right and left hand side. That's basically for people who don't really know where to swipe from, even though it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, anyway, so we also, um, I'm going to disable that. You can change the color of those panes if you like to. Uh, we've got this profile thing here, which I am still having a hard time understanding. So um, two hands hands, right hand or left hand. Now you would think that this because you know, okay, well I'm left handed so it's going to start switching things around for me. Um, I haven't been able to figure it out. When I go to left hand, swiping from the left and right side does nothing for me. Same with the right. So if I just leave it on two hands and it just works, which is really strange. Uh, we also have customize. Um, so in here where this is where you'll get some real customization going on. So the left panes, the right pane, um, the height, the width, the gravity of it. Um, but what I really like in here actually actually is the transition effects. Lots of transition effects for you to choose from. So if we're just to, as an example, select rotate down, when I swipe, as you can see, it kind of has this little carousel effect to it, which I think is cool, or whatever the hell that's called, but I guess it's just called rotating down. Um, anyways, <laughs> so let's show you another one here. Let's say, for instance, I don't know, swing. So there it is, as you can see, really cool. And then, of course, we can double back to the home screen there, which is awesome. So that's cool. Lots of other options in here as well. Vertical gestures and invert gestures. Um, moving on from there, though, we also have display notifications. So again, like I mentioned before, you can actually turn it off. But again, if you do decide to remove it from your notification tray, be prepared that Android could end up killing it, trying to make room for more applications in the future. Um, we've got some different landscape modes here. You've got light theme or dark theme but I prefer the dark theme. Um, and that's basically it. Now this is a 48 hour trial. So that's the only problem. It's free to download this application, but only for 48 hours. So if you do happen to like it, you can purchase the pro key for only a dollar, which I think is pretty cheap compared to the other ones out there, uh, especially for what you can do and how simplistic and well this actually works. Uh, anyways, as always, I'll be placing a link in the description down below. So you guys can go ahead straight to the play store and download it for yourself. But that's it for this one though, guys. Hopefully you like this one. If you did click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But that's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.